did you notice? I've got a new car. In today's episode, we're beginning the build on my, well, not mine, Demi's. 1993 Toyota Land Cruiser 80 series. First episode, getting into some mods. Pretty keen. My car's gonna look way better than yours. You're not bought. It's a Toyota, mate. It doesn't make any power. Don't need instructions when you're a woman. It's just gonna come straight out. <laughs> the they're not rusted at all, so they're not actually locked it up anymore. Proudly supported by Ultimate 9, Tread, Opus Campers, Superior Engineering, and in part by. The first issue we have to face with the build is the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the first issue we have with this car and build is that it is not road registered because we bought it from a different state, Queensland. Um, it needs to get blue slipped to be able to transfer to New South Wales Rego, be able to drive on the road, so it needs a full inspection. And there are a few issues that we need to fix up. So in this video we're going to be fixing up the issues, hopefully getting a blue slipped drivable on the road, and we've got some modifications that have started turning up, things are going to do to it as well. So where are we going to start with it? First thing we actually just did is gave it a nice wash and clean, so it's looking pretty fresh now. It's been sitting out the back since Christmas when Demi got it as her Christmas present, it's now February. Is that on? Yeah. Why? How else are we going to film a bit there? First installment, cool thing. thing we're going to do is weather shields. Oh, they're nice. My car's going to look way better than yours. Now I think they said you heat them up a bit with a heat gun, we could just use a hairdryer to you help said. make them stick really good. Who said that? On the website. So you just heat up the sticky stuff on them a little bit. Help them stick to the car. First mod is just weather shields. I know, very exciting one, but we'll get them on. After seeing how you did your GQ, I think I'd better off doing it myself. Yeah. Where's it supposed to go? Oh, here we go. Now you want my help. <laughs> is it supposed to go like that? I don't know. Help I, me. I did it all wrong, remember? How exciting! <laughs> First mod. That's gonna make a way more capable off-road. Yeah, that's freaking perfection. Qualified four-wheel drive builder. Yeah. What do you think, Zeph, of Mum's car? What do you think of it? Yeah. yeah. You've already done more work on your own car in the first five minutes than I did in six months on the GQ. Certified mechanic now. How's it feel? First mod done. Is that the build complete? Can we can we thumbnail this build complete? Question mark. Put some weather shields on. <laughs> Only three thousand more mods to go. Gonna need some tools. Good thing your girlfriend bought you heaps of toys for, tools for Christmas. Toys. <laughs> <laughs> so next mod slash must do thing, and this is part of what we need to do to get it roadworthy, is this seat belt is all frayed up and that won't pass a blue slip. It's a bit destroyed up. So I bought a fresh one online. So we're gonna try and install this uh, fresh seat belt to help pass roadie. Roadie. I'll give you a roadie. You got any idea? <laughs> you got any idea how to do this? Yeah, with instructions. Wow. What about that first go? Wait, which way is the loose? Are we going to explain things as we're going or? Bill not bought. Bill not bought. <laughs> <laughs> We've never replaced a seatbelt before, so we're just pulling things apart and trying to get the seatbelt out and then bolt the new one back in. Do you want to know my theory? Pull it all out. Keep it all together and then just copy it on the other one. Smart. Someone's got to be in this relationship. <laughs> if there was work to do to a car, right? Like a seat belt or whatever it be, if, if one of us had to do a job, I'd trust you to do it over me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm better than you at full driving. Oh, it's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like all the other build videos. Someone else does it and I stand around with a camera. Oh, that's a huge ass bolt, boys. How's that gonna fit in there? What's that fit? Is there 
they've really messed up the tools. How is it? Works? No. Doesn't click in? Because this is black. So you need to put that one in instead. Yeah. But it's like a different colour. Yeah. She used a 40, 14 socket. Socket. Get this out. Nice. Now put a fresh in that'll actually work with the seatbelt, which is here. <gasps> I need that to help off. And then you just bolt it back on. Simple. Simple. Oh, that's romantic. <laughs> Tie up with your hands. And once it's in the posi desired position, you use your... 14 mil socket. Oh, but no, you don't, because it's a different size. That's what they get you. You think you know this stuff? Brings you down back to earth. What was it? 19. 19, the other one was 14. Yep. Bloody hell. You know what they say, bigger the bolt. You know what they say? Hold it for mum. Oh, good helping. Now I can say I put in my own seat belts. So far the car is built not bought. It is, that's true. You bought it, I built it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Team teamwork every day. Look at that. That's pure perfection. What do you reckon? The safety inspectors will be happy with that bad boy? Well just don't say we've done a home job. <laughs> yeah, it was installed by a professional. Yeah. What's next on the mod list? Exhaust. Exhaust. All right, run through what's happening now. Well, me and Beth are putting the exhaust in. And we also have our helper over here, Nick. Hi. Welcome back to the channel, Nick. I'm back. He's back. <laughs> He's gonna outshine me, I can tell. So the next job we are doing is the exhaust. Now the reason we're doing the exhaust so early on is on in the build is because the old, old exhaust, I'll show when it comes out, full of holes, full of rust. So car can't pass Rego. Till we get a new exhaust in so obviously we just figured while we're going we'll put an upgraded good exhaust in as well so this exhaust is from legend x and it comes with the headers and then the full exhaust through so this is the old one it's gonna have to come out heat shield there is gonna come off headers in behind it and then start working the way back down getting rid of the exhaust and then we'll be able to rebolt the new one in and hopefully no snapped studs i've got five So given those a spray, give them some time to soak in and reduce snapping chances. And then we're gonna do the belts. Give them a bit of a freshen up. They look a little bit old, they don't look terrible, but some new ones have been nice. These things, I'll tell you, mate. They're a lot harder to work on them, patrol, there's stuff everywhere. So obviously being a 30 year old car in the process of building it, we're just gonna be freshening up a lot of old parts on the way as well. Belt's always a good one to do. At some point we're going to do bearings, swivel hubs, all the oils, all that sort of stuff too. Nice and reliable. Get a good to party. Can you just uh, grab the 12 mil socket for me? <laughs> it's like where's Wally but with sockets. While Nick's doing the belts, Demi's going to do a sidestep delete. So how come you're getting rid of the sidesteps? Because they're ugly. And they're broken. And they're broken. Broken and ugly. Throw them in the bin. Yeah. How do the old ones look? Are they not too bad? Or? No, they're not too bad, but they're showing their age, so I feel like they're all cracked in the middle. They get you out of trouble, but this one, it was probably fine, but I cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> What do you reckon? Upgraded two points to the side steps gone. Clean this look mate. So at least double. So you got the belts on Nick. Now we're gonna have a crack at the manifold. You see that mate? Yeah. They come in already. Look at that easy as. Yeah, honestly not even time. What's the method for getting ma exhaust manifold bolts off to reduce risk of snapped heads? Single socket and the most important bit is when you 
put it on there, you've got flat force in against it. And like the most people snap them because they're like pulling really hard, but then they pull like off center. Yeah. And it puts like a side load on them. Yeah. Side step delete. Second one out. Now you have to get in there and do some manifold bolts. What's that? I'll crack them all when you come behind me. Eh? So now Nick's done all the hard bit. Excuse you. That means he's gonna finish her off. I'll finish you off in a minute, mate. <laughs> and Nick's under there grinding and pulling out the old exhaust. Basically too rusted to undo the bolts, so it's a cut out job. You know, someone commented on one of the GQ build videos and said if you had an 80 series, you wouldn't have to do any of this. No. Well, so here I was thinking we wouldn't have to do any work to it. Now look at it. Now look at it. Now look like at it. Like in played car. Yeah, I was lied to. I this feel betrayed. It's more work than the yeah. half as many Ks on it. Half That's as good. many Ks double the work. How's your first day being a mechanic going? Easy. Nick always says it's just like big Lego. Very much Lego. So that's one of the main reasons that... You need a new exhaust. Yeah, and it wouldn't pass. And like, I didn't Ranger. cut this funny shape. Like, that was all like crack. <laughs> that was what it was like. I pretty much cut a longer crack. Yeah, so I see holes in exhaust and non-passable for Reggio. Yeah. So you can't just put a band over it and send it to the You could dodge it ass, but... We don't do dodgy things, we only do professional, exactly to the law, specifications. Specifications. Nick got the bolts, now pull her out. <sighs> you got her. Look at that. What a job. You're not bought, mate. Yeah. She's fing heavy, boys. She's very happy. I'm gonna. Uh, it's, it's worse filming with you around than it is at the workshop. All the bloody swear and cutting out. <laughs> I know why it's not coming off. You left a bowl on there. Did I? Yeah, there's one on there. It's like yeah. just here. There she is. The other one out. You getting excited for your new exhaust? Yeah, because then I can actually drive my own car. Yeah, I think it's gonna sound sick, <laughs> fully sick, bro. Yeah. This is the worst part about Land Cruiser exhaust. It goes up over the chassis between the body in like one spot, especially hard on the ground. Yeah. See how it's squashed there? Yeah. That's so like where it goes between, it doesn't like rub. A bit restrictive on the airflow. Yeah. It's a Toyota, mate. But they make any fail. So all the exhaust parts are out, Nick's just cleaning up, clean out the manifold, get the old goo and gunk off. And then we're on the phone on hold now, trying to get, what are we after Nick? Exhaust mounts. Hello Shay, Nick from SMP, how are we? I need some exhaust mounts for an 80 series Land Cruiser. Please and thank you. Okay, I have three in stock. Yeah, perfect. Can you put them aside, all three of them? I got them mate. We got some problem sorted. I went down the shop, grabbed some fresh exhaust mounts and some gasket goo there too. So now we can start piecing this whole thing back together. Then we'll start her up and big FZ. Hit limiter a few times. Bougie King's back on. Timmy's gonna cry. <laughs> Should we discuss benefit of an upgrade exhaust and headers? They flow better. They make more power. Yeah, the more air you can get in and out, the better. And sound a bit nicer too. This thing here, automatic. Questionable. <laughs> do you want to do an explanation? What's the explanation? The, the headers are on. The headers are on. The airbox The airbox is back together. And now we're going to start. And now we're going to start with working our way backwards. Working our way backwards. Along the exhaust. Along the exhaust. It's just going to come straight out. <laughs> the they're not rusted at all, so they're not actually locking up anymore. <laughs> So Nick's about to have a real bad time trying to get the old O2 sensor out. So we've got to pull that one out yeah. to go in the new one. I'm probably going to cut it off. Oh. 
So now we've got the O2 sensor in, it's just assembling the jigsaw puzzle. we got gaskets for each connection point, bolts and nuts. Oh, look how shiny they are. Is it all lining up so far? Yep. Yeah. It fits good, it's just... Jigsaw right in there. Yeah. It's pretty nice exhaust, like... I reckon it's stainless, at least your mufflers are stainless, so I'd assume the whole thing is probably stainless. Bit of Legend X goodness. Legendary. Legendary goodness, nice. mate. It does look nice, doesn't it? Exhaust is in. First start up. See how she sounds. Shams. Hang on, I'll go from the back way to start it. Bloody weapon now. What's your thoughts? <laughs> sounds good. Sounds sick now. Yeah. We need some limiter. I can do it. Do it. You don't know. Are you going to limit her at everywhere now? Yeah. I just should get them to play Limmy. Yeah. Limmy back. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Another mod done to the 80. That Legend X exhaust. Sounds really good. It all fitted up really nice as well. Pretty sweet little setup. Uh, I've got to clean up this mess, take all this rusty old stuff to the tip. And then not sure what mod's next. Depends what turns up in the mail. Alrighty. Fast forward a few weeks into the future and a little bit has happened since we finished putting that exhaust on number one being <laughs> zef started walking do you want to update everyone on what's happened to the car since last time because we didn't film a few things but stuff has happened got the blue slip got red joe past the blue slip got the number plates officially able to drive on the road ready to go everywhere anywhere if you have any ideas on what my number plate should be, hit me up, boys. Nothing lame. Not like TTGU42. 48 or <laughs> TTGQ42. Yeah. Nothing that says this is an 80, because I feel like you already know what it is. <laughs> Don't inform any, everyone via yeah. your number plate. Yeah. Okay, we've got the windows tinted. What tint did we get on them? Black. <laughs> <laughs> we got. 35 on the front we got 20 on the back and then we got 20 on the very back we didn't get these ones done because there's a new thing we're doing they're getting replaced Secret business we won't be smashing them though we'll keep them in prime condition have a swing and hope for the best that's one gone and we got 35 and 20 because they are the legal limits so you can't go any darker than that legally and we want to keep it legal because you're a very much law-abiding citizen. Zero run-ins with the police. I'd like to keep it that way. And then, the one that we just my got today. My most favourite one so far. We made a brown. So what was the idea behind this? Well, I like the idea of the decals on the 60. And you didn't buy me a 60. So well, you're bloody 80 instead. So I had to go with the next best thing. We bought these online and then yeah we got someone to put them we got like a sign place to put them on for us today so she's really starting to come together now it's looking quite nice quite nice indeed next mod and then the final mod <laughs> that we have to go on today and in this episode is personalized seat covers yep the one and only razorback our favorite seat cover company can't beat them can't beat them join them so open up these seat covers and get them installed. And then we do have a discount code for Razorback because we do actually do some work with them. We've, they've helped us with all our builds. Do you remember what the discount code is? Tyler 10. Is Tyler 10? 10% off. Nice. Bloody best seat covers going. Literally though. They're yeah. They're so good. <laughs> and everyone who sees them is like, especially like these premium ones that are personalized. Everyone who sees them is like, wow, those seat covers are sick. I love how I'm like, I want a number plate that doesn't say that I've got an 80, because like obviously I've got an 80. Yeah, but then <laughs> wait till they wait till they see the seat covers. <laughs> they look bloody nice. There they are, the big seat covers out. How do you like them? They're so nice and they feel luxurious. I think, do you know what they're made of? Premium neoprene? Yeah. I think it is. And why seat covers for the car? 
to help protect from grubby kids for number one that's my reason so much grubby kidness and then also fading of the seats protect those nice factory land cruiser seats yeah Front two seats are in, and we got this off Razorback as well. Center console. Cover. This one, yeah, center console cover. Because this one looks a bit old. Hide the evidence with a nice cover, and then that'll obviously match all the seats too. She looks schmick. I love how I just wing every step of the way, and I just like get it right every time. Through the instructions over your shoulder. Yeah. Don't need instructions when you're a woman. Look at that. Mint. Bloody beautiful. Thank God, you yeah, don't want to get that number plate with that 80 on it. I know. It'd be so embarrassing. Yeah. I did them all. They fit perfectly. And I love them. The inside of the car looks way better with them on, I reckon. It looks like a new car. Like, yeah. with the decals and these seat covers, it's like... Super cool. I never want to leave it. I just want to sleep in it forever. So we will finish up that episode there. The first of many of the builds of this 80 series, Demi's 80. I already reckon that we transformed it heaps. Yeah. Compared to what it was, looks way better. Um, so yeah, uh, lots more things to come, plenty more episodes. And that's it. Let's go shopping. Let's go 80 series shopping. <laughs>